Hey guys, it's Maddie from Let's Eat Plants and today we are making three bean whole food plant-based chili. Today's recipe is inspired by Brand New Vegan. This chili is apparently award-winning and when you see the title Best Damn Instant Pot Chili, you know you gotta make it. So of course I've modified it a bit to suit my tastes, but for the most part, I do follow this recipe exactly and it turns out really well every time. And so today I wanna share it with you all. So for today's recipe, we are going to need three cloves of garlic, an onion, two bell peppers, and some mushrooms, which are optional, but I do really like to use them. Now we are making today's chili in the Instant Pot, but don't worry, you can also make this recipe on the stove top. Now you have an option here. You can of course saute the onion, garlic, and bell peppers first. Just press the saute button on your Instant Pot and add a little bit of vegetable broth. But I have found it doesn't make that much of a taste difference, so I usually skip that step. And now for our seasonings. We are using a half teaspoon garlic powder, half teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon paprika. You can also use some smoked paprika here if you'd like. Two teaspoons cumin. And three heaping tablespoons of chili powder. We are also going to use two cups of vegetable broth. I realized my vegetable broth was almost finished here. So I just went ahead and finished the carton, which was actually more like two and a half cups, but anywhere between two and two and a half cups should be fine. And for our three beans today, we are using white kidney beans, red kidney beans, and black beans. I'm using canned because it's all I have. You could of course also use homemade beans. And since these are canned beans, I'm just giving them a quick rinse before adding them into our pot. And now we want to give everything a good thorough stir. Make sure everything's pretty well incorporated. And then we're going to add our tomatoes. I'm using this very large can of diced tomatoes and about half of this tomato paste. So this is just leftover tomato paste that I had, which like I said, is about half of that tomato paste can. And now very importantly, if you're using the Instant Pot, you do not want to stir your mixture once you've added the tomatoes. Apparently tomatoes on the bottom of an Instant Pot can ignite the burn warning, so we wanna just leave our tomatoes on the top. But don't worry, as you can see, there's enough liquid here to make sure everything gets cooked. Of course, this is just for using the Instant Pot. If you're cooking this chili on the stovetop, you don't have to worry about this. And we are going to set the Instant Pot on the bean slash chili setting for five minutes. And I like to take it off of keep warm, but that is of course up to you. And of course, make sure your nozzle is pointed to sealing instead of venting and let your Instant Pot cook. So after the Instant Pot is finished cooking, I usually let it come down from pressure naturally for about 10 minutes, and then I will release any remaining pressure, which is usually only a small bit. And I just do that by turning the nozzle and waiting for the pin to drop. Once the pin is down, we can open the lid and check on our beautiful chili. So I'm just giving everything a quick stir now. And what I like to do is give it a quick taste and add anything else that I feel it is lacking. I felt this batch needed a bit of sweetness to balance the tomatoes, so I'm adding about a tablespoon of blackstrap molasses and about a cup of frozen corn. As always, I suggest you season to your tastes. And for garnish, I'm just adding a bit of fresh coriander. 
And here we have our beautiful final three bean chili. It is very hearty as is, but of course you could also serve it with some brown rice, some sorghum, some camu, maybe with a side of healthy cornbread, basically anything you like to eat your chili with. If you haven't checked out Chuck from Brand New Vegan, I will leave his original recipe and his website in the description box down below. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you enjoy healthy whole food plant-based recipes, feel free to subscribe and making new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And with that, let's eat plants, and I will see you guys next time.